Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Today, I'm gonna show you how to translate words into math. Translating words into math. When translating words into math, things are pretty straightforward. The words that you read in your problem are pretty much gonna tell you exactly what to do. I'm gonna tell you one thing that you do need to keep in mind though, and that is when you see the word than, remember to switch the order of the terms. Let's move on to example number one. Example number one says a number increased by 12. So I'm going to underline different parts of the sentence and we're going to use that to figure out how we need to write this thing. Okay, a number this is basically saying you have a variable and we don't know what it is so they're just calling it a number so let's say I'm gonna use the variable T okay so I'm gonna just write like a lowercase t a number increased by okay increased by to me sounds like adding because of the operations that we typically use in math addition subtraction multiplication in addition increasing would be adding or multiplying um, and they didn't say like this was you know sets of increasing or anything so I'm pretty sure they just want me to add so look what happened when I underlined the different parts in this phrase I ended up really creating my problem already so the answer to example number one is T plus 12 oh you know what I do want to say something it doesn't have to be T it could be any variable that you create so it doesn't have to be T it could be P plus 12 N plus 12 all of that is fine just make sure it's a variable in fact a variable doesn't even have to be a letter it could be a symbol sometimes you're gonna see maybe a question mark or maybe a Greek letter or something like that okay let's move on to example number two four less than a number okay we got four that's easy let me pull it out less than okay um if you remember on my very first slide I explained that when you see the word than you need to remember to switch positions of your terms and so let me point out that this says less than so that sounds like subtraction so I'm still gonna write it down I haven't switched anything yet but we'll just see how this goes okay and then this says a number so again that's gonna be my variable and just to simplify things I'm gonna use the variable T for all of my examples here but you could use whatever variable you want you really don't have to use the same variable for every single problem you can change it up if you want that's no problem okay the van what do we do with it we think of it and remember to switch the positions of the terms okay I'm gonna keep my subtraction sign here my T is gonna come out this way and my 4 is gonna come out this way so my answer for example number 2 is T minus 4 and I say my answer because you could do this problem and you could do P for your variable and it would be P minus 4 and that's no problem I do want to add also that you're not necessarily um, going to switch for only subtraction problems. If you have a problem that says greater than, technically you should switch. A lot of times teachers don't necessarily emphasize this and I think that's really because whether you switch the order of addition problem or not, you're not going to affect your answer but with a subtraction problem you would affect your answer depending on the order but really when you see than whether it's a less than or a greater than you really should switch the positions of the numbers okay let's move on to example number three example number three the quotient of a number and five okay quotient that is a big fancy way of saying the answer to a division problem so I already know we're about to divide so I'm gonna write a division sign right here to remind me of that okay so I have my division sign 
of a number remember that's my variable because we don't know what it is when it says a number basically we don't know the value of this number so we just need to have something here as a placeholder so we're just gonna put a letter or a variable there and five okay now we just need to switch the order around so that division sign is in between the two and you keep them in the same order you don't need to worry about switching anything here so it's gonna be T divided by 5 that can also be written as T over 5 because if you remember fractions are also a form of division so when you're writing division you can choose to use the standard sign or you can write it as a fraction we have one more example example number four it says seven times a number you can probably figure out what we need to do with this one pretty quickly because in the middle of the phrase we have the word times we have seven I'm gonna pull that down Oops. times and a number okay so we have an answer of 7 times t. If you remember, a coefficient in front of a variable also means that those two numbers should be multiplied. So you don't actually have to write your multiplication symbol. You could even write your t in a set of parentheses if you'd like to do that. It would look like this. So all of these will work for answers. For example, number 4. That was my last example. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, then head over to supereasymath.com for more math tutorials, printable video notes, worksheets, and more.